Well, good evening all. Still redneck. It is Wednesday, July, uh, what is it, uh, he's the uh, 15th. And tonight's episode, this rant is going to be called, How Far Down This Rat Hole Can the State of California Go? Our illustrious head idiot, uh, Gavin Newsom, is imposing lockdown again. In other words, closing down barber shops, uh, dining restaurants, bars, all that again. And for why? I guess it makes it, it makes his dick hard or whatever. I don't know. Because he thinks he's all super powerful. Personally, I think he's full of shit. The typical backbiting, no good socialist Democrat, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't really care for him. All right, well, as we go down this further down into this rat hole, I just read a news article that the California University Faculty Union is recommending that all black students get free tuition. Okay. It's not bad enough that this bull crap that's going on. You're get, you, people are getting fired, losing their jobs for shit they said or did 20, 30 years ago. Or that was part of their job years ago. Whether it be acting in blackface or whatever. You know. Whether it was a comedy routine or whatever. And, you know, a lot of these same people that are bitching about it were the ones rolling on the aisles laughing about it at that time. But because all these snowflake unicorn sucking mama living in the basement routines, kids that have no education even though they're college educated, you know, they don't know anything about history, they want to destroy this country, got their feelings hurt, you know, Oh, we gotta change all this. We gotta fire this person, that person, this person, that person. For all you mammy pammy little ass lickers, maybe you ought to study actual history instead of this how to be a more sensitive person in college and get a degree on it that you can never use. You know? Then maybe you wouldn't be destroying every monument in town. You say you're doing it for uh, to fight racism, well, gee, a lot of these statues you're taking down were the ones that fought against racism in the first place. Like Abraham Lincoln, you know? You know, it, you, you have to get your head out of your ass and look at the big picture. But no. Now you got all these corporations all bound to everybody's wishes. They're trying to make themselves relevant and all this crap. They all want to be accepted by the norm. Oh yes, we enjoy the Black Lives Matters. Uh, we we rub with the, with black power. You know, fuck that shit. You know, I was taught at a very young age: you want something, you have to work for it. Ain't nothing ever given to you. You get something for free; it's worth exactly what you paid for it. You know. This country is not made to be a welfare state. That's what they're trying to make it into. They're trying to make it into a welfare state where you only think what the government wants you to think. You only do what this group tells you to think. Do, 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 do down the road. You work where they tell you to. You work when they tell you to. You go home when they tell you to. You have no social life. You have no friends. You're not allowed to speak. You know? Henceforth, this mask routine, this social distancing routine. All right, if these masks are such a great idea, riddle me this. If wearing a mask will stop the COVID, why do we have to social distance? Why do we have to stand outside a line in a store to get in the store? Because the store can only handle so many people. If everybody's wearing a mask, 
Riddle me that. Okay. Also, riddle me this. How many of these so-called positive tests have you done that are that you've only done one test? Testing standard to find out if you have something is generally three. You either have to have two negatives or two positives to make a decision. You know? And how many of these labs are telling the truth? There's a report today that the state of Florida, 300 of their labs were all given false information. They misplaced a few decimal points. You know, so you got to figure out where all the facts are coming from. You also notice that nobody is is telling you what the underlying conditions of a person that died of this stuff is. Whether they had bronchitis, whether they had heart trouble, or whatever they had. Nobody's saying any of that. You know? They're just turning around and saying, uh, oh, he died of COVID. We must do this because of COVID. We have to beat the COVID. And people are just buying it tooth and nail like, oh. Oh, I got the golden ticket. Oh, my God. I'm going to go to Wizardland. You know. It's awful funny. We had the COVID-19, and we had to protest. When the protests were going on, you didn't hear much about COVID-19, but you didn't see people getting punished for being out without a mask, and so nobody talked about social distancing then. Then you hear these idiots talk, well, the protesters have a different right. They're, they're allowed to do that and all that. Oh, well, excuse me. If I go out with a, out a mask or go, try to go into a store or something like that, I get told I can get a ticket. You know? The laws and the rules are supposed to apply to all equally. You know? If I pick up a brick and throw it through a building... I should expect to go to jail. But you're allowing people to do that, cause anarchy in the street, and not raising a hand against them. As Nancy Pelosi said, one of our fine, upstanding Democrats, all people will do what people will do, and I'm fine with that. Makes you start to wonder who's running this this rioting, who's running this COVID-19 scam? I'm not saying there's not a disease out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's not as hyped. If it wasn't as hyped up as it is every night on the news, most people would be able to get through it with no problem. But why are they pushing the fear factor so much? You have to ask yourself that. But... I just think everybody's lost their mind trying to figure out what side they need to be on because, oh, we're making sides. We're pushing. Everybody's trying to push for a race war. You have to wonder why. You really have to. So my suggestion to everybody, let's all stop a minute. Slow down. Take a look around. Think about what's going on. Think of who has what to gain from it. What's the ultimate goal? Who's using what to get where? If you happen to think of an answer to that, send me a message. If you like this video, like it, subscribe if you want to. If you got a complaint about it, send me an email, redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com. I'll answer it. But either way, it's still a free country. I can say what I want. You either like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. Y'all have a good evening. Remember our military serving overseas? They're the ones giving us the right to keep, and help, helping us keep the rights we have See, so people can act stupid. Remember the vets that are here, the ones coming home. Give my hand up, not a hand out. Y'all take care. Remember, treat everyone as you want to be treated. We can make this world a better place. With a little common sense, people haven't totally lost their mind. Yo, Redneck, we're out.